All new here tonight on the night team, Susan Sweeney Crum. Today I sat down to talk one on one with Denny Crum's wife as she put the final touches today on the funeral and memorial services. The outpouring of your love to the Hall of Fame coach is being noticed by the family. And she also had some thoughts about Rick Patino and his comments about Crum's passing. But I was there with him and it was just me and him and it, that was nice. By his side this week, by his side for nearly 22 years, Susan Sweeney Crum told me the beloved coach, her husband, never gave up. He was such a fighter and he had such a strong will anyway. I mean, he was strong. He had a strong will, super competitive. So maybe he didn't want to somewhere. I'm not going out. I'm winning this. On Valentine's Day this year, she surprised him with this tattoo. It's she and Denny as Cardinals sitting on a tree branch together. I said, I want you to see what I did here and I'm going to show you. I said, I did this for you for Valentine's Day and he was awake and he was just kind of looking at me and his eyes got real big and he said, that's nice. The coach had been bedridden at home in the care of Hospice since December, but one by one, his players arrived. I know he felt the love. I, I don't think you can't not feel the love. And a lengthy visit from UK coach John Calipari. Calipari always loved Denny, and Denny loved him. He respected him. He knew he's a great coach. As the tributes started rolling in, today Susan was busy planning Crum's memorial. She asked me if Rick Patino, the coach who had succeeded Denny Crum, had said anything. I read her Rick Patino's tweet. I was saddened to learn of the passing of Denny Crum. My prayers are with his family. He was beloved by all Cardinal fans. I think he saw that all the time. I mean, how could you not see it when, when you're coaching and he saw the admiration of the fans whenever they put his picture on and everybody stands up and cheers and yells and you couldn't help but, but see how people responded to him. So, and so I, I believe Coach Patino definitely had a lot of respect for Denny. So that's nice. I'm glad to hear that. But there were years under athletic director Tom Durich when Crum felt the cold shoulder. Coach Patino was never the issue. I, th I think he just kind of was, was what it was. But, I mean, he was always respectful to Denny. He, he treated him with respect, for sure. They were friendly. They were cordial. Despite the tough years at UofL, Crum and Susan never stopped going to games. I think efforts were made to just kind of wipe them away off the history books locally. But um, you, the fans knew better. The fans always knew better. They sure did. Yeah. That ability to just let it roll off his back. Every time they'd show him, they'd... There was the applause. Sometimes they'd stand. I mean, he loved it. He loved U of L. He loved all the teams. He loved his teams. He loved the other teams that came after him just because he loved the university. She told me Denny lived such a great life because of his strong other interests, a true gift. We just had fun. We had, I, I got to do things I never would have done. And he had somebody who enjoyed doing things like that with him. I never fished before, but I grew to love it because I like being outside. The tributes, his legacy. In the end, Susan wants to remember the coach this way. He was just a regular guy in a lot of ways. Loved his family, loved his dogs. Loved you. Loved me. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, thank you for sharing him with us. Well, I'm glad people love him as much as they do. I'm going to give you a hug here, yeah. but I want you to... <laughs> Always so strong, Susan Sweeney Crum, and she gave me this information about the visitation and funeral. The visitation for Denny Crum will be this coming Monday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Southeast Christian Church on Blankenbaker Parkway. The funeral will be on Monday, also at Southeast. It'll start at 2 p.m. It is open to the public. The burial will follow. It will be private. Then, But later Monday night, again this coming Monday night, there will be a celebration of Denny's life at the KFC Yum Center downtown. That's going to be at 7 o'clock. You are all invited. UofL says you do need to claim a free ticket.